In this video, we're going to look at calculating n, in other words, the number of years or number of months in a calculation, as well as the final payment on a loan. Now, in this example, Roxanne borrows 200,000 Rand from a bank and repays the loan by means of monthly payments of 7,000 Rand, starting one month after granting the loan. So first thing we realize, it's a loan that starts one month, and the payments start one month after granting the loan, so it's a straightforward loan. And interest is fixed at 15% compounded monthly, and we want to know how many payments will she have to make. Well, first of all, we need to decide which formula, but the key word in this question is loan. And when we're working with loans, the present value formula is the formula to use. And remember, it will be on your formula sheet in your final exams. So we need to do the substitution. So the, the value of the loan is 200,000 Rand and the value of the monthly payments is 7,000 Rand, along with our interest, 15% compounded monthly. So 0, 0,15 over 12. Now we need to solve for N. So we've got to, get, got to get eliminate a few of those numbers. So my first calculation is going to be 200,000 Rand times the denominator, so times 0, 0,15 over 12, and divide by 7,000. If I do that, I'm going to get closer to just that bracket. Your calculator should give you a nice common fraction. Try not go to decimals. First of all, it's inaccurate. And secondly, it's a little bit more difficult to use. So if your calculator answer is a common fraction, keep it. Now, if we look at that line, it says 1 minus the bracket. So if I take the bracket over to the left-hand side, that bracket will become positive. And if I take 5 over 14 over to the right-hand side, 1 minus 5 over 14 gives me 9 over 14. Now we need to solve for the exponent. And from previous sections, we know if we need to solve an exponent, we need to make use of logs. Now if you can just remember the simple rule, because we need to decide which will be the base, and which will not. Now the base of the exponent should always become the base of the log and then you use what is left. So that's a much easier way than trying to remember your definition or changing it from exponential format to log format. Just remember, let's take these steps back again. If I want to solve for an exponent I'm going to use logs. The base of the exponent becomes the base of the log and I write down the other number. If I type that into my calculator, I get minus 35,567, divide throughout by negative, and I get 35,567. Now, what does that mean? How can I interpret that answer? Well, what it means is she's going to make 35 full payments of 7,000 Rand, and then there's a smaller payment. That decimal indicates to me that there's another payment, but not a full payment. So in total, she will make 36 payments on this loan. The second part the second part of this question is how much will the final payment be? And the method I'm going to use is using balance outstanding. So she makes 35 full payments. So I want to see how much does she owe after making 35 full payments. Now remember from previous videos that your balance outstanding is going to be the loan that you've had for 35 months minus the repayments that you've been making for 35 months. And remember those repayments, you're going to use your future value formula. You're looking at in the future, after 35 payments, how much will I still owe? So those exponents are both going to be 35. And then if I type that into my calculator, exactly as I see it, I realize we have 3931,086675. And you'll notice I haven't rounded off because that is to calculate her final payment, this is just her balance after 35 payments. But we need to make the final payment at the end of the 36th month. Okay, you're not going to make a, a half payment in the middle of a month, you're going to wait till the end of that next month to make your final payment. So that loan still has to gain interest for one month. All right, so the 3931 still has to gain interest for one month. So just multiply it by an interest bracket to get your final payment of 3980,23. And at this stage, I can round off to my two decimal places because we're talking about financial maths. We're talking about rands and cents.
So just to go over this again quickly, a final payment, we want to know what is her balance after the last full payment. But then we need to still realize that she's only going to make the next payment at the end of the following month. So that loan still has to gain interest for one full month. Let's look at example two. And in this um, example, a car costing 200,000 Rand depreciates at a rate of 8% per annum on a reducing balance method. How long in years and months will it take to depreciate to a value of 90,000 Rand? Our first question should definitely be which formula to use. We are looking at depreciation and on a reducing balance. So we're going to use the reducing balance depreciation formula, which does appear on your formula sheet. Now we know that initially the car costs 200,000 Rand. So your p-value will be 200,000 and it's going to be worth 90,000 Rand at the end. So we need to get closer to that value of N. So the first thing I'm going to do is take 90,000 and divide it by 200,000. And I get left with 9 over 20. Now we need to solve for exponents. And the rule when we solve for exponents is we should use log. Then the base of the exponent becomes the base of the log. And we write down our last number. Type that into your calculator and you get 9,57654 years. Okay, so that's a portion of a year. Um, to calculate how many specific months we're going to do, that decimal gives me the number of months, but that decimal is a portion of a year. So to figure out how many months it's going to take, we take the decimal and we multiply it by 12 months, okay, because they're 12 months in a year. So you've got 0 0.57 um, portion of a whole year or 12 months. So we want to know what portion of 12 months is it. And we end up with nine years and seven months if I round off. Thanks for watching Max Maths. If you liked what you saw, please like, share and subscribe.